Ah, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is Ask the Aquaponics God. Preventing you from becoming a biscuit-headed grower. Today, high-class growers, we're gonna be talking about these little red things that may be in your aquaponics system. But before we jump into that today, I wanna to thank you guys for liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I absolutely appreciate you guys out there, right here from Aquaponics Paradise. So let's jump right into it and get to the nitty gritty of what we're gonna be yapping about today. All right, this question is coming from Billy Mays, one of the members in Aquaponics Paradise. I had to jump you in front of the line, my man. Let's see what we got going on here. His question goes, I was cleaning some algae from my NFT tubes today and was freaked out to see dozens of small, one inch red worms swimming around in the tubes near the roots of my plants. Like, what the freak, man? Are they harmful? And where the heck did they come from? Will this make my plants unsafe to eat? Ew. All right, so you got these red things swimming in your system and you're trying to find out what the heck is going on. You know, you've probably never seen these before, so I guess it is something that you can be paranoid about. But the good news is, is they're not gonna be anything that you should be paranoid about. Now, it could be two things that are in your system that you're looking at right now. One, it could be just, uh, you know, red worms as you described them. The regular um, red wigglers, which are, which are the traditional composting worms. They use those for soil composting. And you'll see those creep in your aquaponic system as well, naturally. When I had my media bed set up, I would see the red worms. Even my NFT, I would see that. My other NFT when I was using, um, I haven't seen any using um, or in the new NFT that I have, but in my old NFT, I did find a few of them in there that crept up in there. And it's no big deal. They're just creeping up in there. There's, um, you know, they're pr pretty much getting to the, uh, the solid waste, the organic material that's in those, your NFT channels, and they're just eating, uh, eating on that. So no big deal. Now, a second option, right, that's highly likely that you could be seeing is what are called Chironomidae larvae or also midge larvae, right? And these resemble, they resemble worms. They're also called red uh, blood worms, right? Ble uh, blood worms. They look like red worms, but they're not worms. They're larvae of the insect midge, the midge insect. Now, the midge insect, which we'll let's talk about that a little bit in a little bit. So as far as the, um, the, um, the midge larvae, you're gonna find these pretty much, they're, they're pretty much functioning the same way that the red wigglers are. You're gonna find these pretty much in all of the natural um, ecosystems, right? Anywhere there's, where there's water and there's some organic material, right? They're gonna be found there, right? So aquaponics, we know that this is an ecosystem, right? So they're gonna be found there. When those NFT tubes, in certain parts of those NFT tubes, whether you're growing in a pipe or if you're growing in the, um, the channels, there's gonna be certain areas in there that do clog, or not clog, they do pool with organic material, right? You'll have some in between some of the, um, some of the plants or on the sides of the plants. It just depends. Or right there uh, surrounding the plant roots in the channel, there'll be some areas where organic material uh, begins to you know, accumulate there. And that's a perfect area for the midge insect to breed and to lay their larvae or to lay their eggs. And when the larvae hatch, right, then they're using that organic material, which is just the feces, the fish waste. The majority of it is the fish waste. They're using that as their, you know, their energy source. They're developing and then eventually they become, um, they metamorph they're metamorphose into the, um, the midge insect, the adult. Right, and these midge insect, they resemble mosquitoes. They look just like mosquitoes, right? You'll see them flying around, flapping around. They look just like mosquitoes, but they don't have the, um, uh, um, the spear-like mouth and they don't bite, right? When mosquitoes, they have what is called a proboscis, that mouth that you see that comes out, that spear-like mouth. And that proboscis, what it has is 100, over 150 receptors that could find 
um, blood, right? And in that proboscis, when they retract it, they have six basically spears that protrude from their mouth. And they use um, one of them to kind of just saw through. When, it, when, you get, when they get on your skin, they're kind of sawing through there. They have fine, like, fine, like a fine needle sawing through. Two of them they use to kind of move, the, um, separate the skin or whatever material it is that they're, they're sawing into. The other two they use to come in and locate the blood vessel, hot stuff, hot stuff. And then the last one they use to kind of um, uh, puncture the blood vessel and then extract the blood, right? So that's a little bit about mosquitoes. But these things, the, um, the midge, they resemble mosquitoes, but they're not. They're not. So this is what you most likely have in your system. And also when you see them as larvae, there'll be these little red things. They're moving around. They have awkward movement, like almost like squiggly movement when you're looking at them. So that's one way to distinguish them if you're unfamiliar with, you know, with, with, with the way they look. So... This is what you've most likely got. You either got the red, you know, the red wigglers, or you have the, um, the uh, midge larvae. Either one of them, they're both doing the same thing. They're just eating at the, the feces that are pulled up in your NFT channel. They're growing, developing, and then they're just continuing their life cycle, right? Do they harm the plants? They don't harm the plants. As far as they don't have any significant uh, impact on the plants. Maybe they do if you, you know, run tests and run experiments on them. Maybe they are causing some type of reduction in growth is possible so i can't say because i haven't seen any research on that it's possible but there's any significant damage i would say that it's not doing that right it's not doing that but what they do is they consume nitrifying bacteria so if you want to consider this this could be um detrimental if there are large amounts of those um, midge larvae in your system i see them sometimes in this uh filter back here I see them sometimes there when I'm looking through the, um, there's like a little uh, glass uh, peephole. I can see them on the um, beads inside of the, um, inside the filter, right? I can see them in there. And they're in there consuming nitrifying bacteria all, along with the organic material that's in there, right? They're just breaking it down and doing what they have to do, right? The wastewater industry, sometimes they'll have these big outbreaks where these midge larvae will infest pretty much lay eggs everywhere those larvae larvae will come out and begin breeding and if it's a large amount then that could start affecting the um the operation of that of those wastewater treatment plants depending on what they're doing right so they have sometimes they have to treat for that but overall in aquaponics most likely it's not going to be um that much of a problem if you have them in there right they're not going to accumulate in that much and, and new, uh, numbers where it's going to have an impact. Like, I don't see any impact on my nitrification, you know, um, in this system, right? Any significant impact. I'm pretty sure there's slight impact. Of course, they're eating some of the nitrifying bacteria, but overall, you know, nothing, uh, nothing dramatic. So, Billy, I hope this helps you out. And anyone else out there that sees these red critters, you know, in your aquaponic system, there's nothing really to worry about. They're just there doing their thing. Aquaponics is an ecosystem. You're seeing your system come to life. The aquaponic ecosystem come to life. Right? Nothing to worry about. Right? So if any of you guys have other questions, be sure to submit them down below. I want to thank you guys again for watching the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you guys out there. Right? If you want to learn more about aquaponics, click on the link below. Get you a free aquaponics starter guide and a free aquaponics course, and that'll help you out, right? It'll help you get your aquaponic journey on so you can get growing, right? So until next time, this is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics reminding you to stop walking and get you a car. <laughs>